Hello. Welcome to the Court of the EDI. Jester, how are we everybody today? What have we got for you? Well, here we go. You see, we have some interesting things here from a union called Unison. Now, you'll be familiar with Unison, many of you. Unison, I think, is H generally NHS. This is where they do their best work. Oh, before we start, come be a warrior teacher, buy me a coffee, the usual stuff. Uh, yeah, warrior teacher, definitely, starting in November. In fact, oh my goodness, in two days' time, we begin. We begin sending out the details, getting people signed on, getting people enrolled. But it doesn't start till the third week in November, so you've still got time to come on board. Come and join us. Anyway, so back to Unison. Now, I don't know whether you know this, but Unison... Just, just, just make you... Uh, I've declared it. Apparently, this is the year of LGBT, right? So they've now given the buggers a year. Why don't they just give them a decade and get it over with? It's a decade. Who for? Cross-dressing LARPers? Yeah, anyone else? People that don't have boundaries around children, right? Anybody else? That's what they've done. Give them a year. The look up at you, look up at you, look up at you, pass. The bloody cult. They've given the cult a year. So it's no surprise, really, that one should see uh, somewhat of a bizarre tweet from a chap called Steve North. Now, Steve North is he's the sort of lead president for, for Northern Unison, I think. And he's, and he's got his... There he is, bless him. And he's got his pronouns. Isn't that nice? He, him. He's got his pronouns. So he's virtue signalling his, 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 his uh, disdain for, for women, his disdain for gay people, and his absolute inability to recognise child harm, child harm when it comes along and hits him on the bum, Right? So that's what we've got here. Straightforward enough, really, isn't it? Straightforward enough. And he posted um, an utterly ridiculous uh, pile of garbage, uh, which it goes as follows. I appreciate this is a Daily Mail article, but if true, it is deeply concerning that West Streeting appears to be once again pandering to anti-trans bigotry in our year of look up at Q plus workers. I stand as Unison president with the trans community. Do you now, Steve? Right? Do you? What for? What for, you raging homophobe? Because that's all I can say. Right? That's what it says here. You just said that you stand with the trans community and the LGBT+, which is a homophobic cult. Not only that, it's misogynistic. And you can tell the misogyny comes... I mean, absolutely comes weeping out of you, Steve. Look, you know? Because what you've got here is the Darlington Five bring fight for women's spaces in hospital. And he's saying that for women to want their spaces away from cross-dressing, LARPing men is anti-trans bigotry and that West Streeting is pandering to it. He's running unison. The man's insane. And he's running unison. Don't look at me like that. I know there's some lefties out there, love you. Listen, one of the most left-wing people I know is Cathy Devine. And even Cathy Devine said yesterday, what the hell is this man doing? This is Unison. Now, it's my but it's my thought that if anybody who's a member of Unison should resign immediately and tell them why. Resign immediately and tell them why. That's what we do. We hit them in the pocket. So if any of the big organisations, you know, Sex Matters, Helen, Maya, uh, Gen Spect, if any of you big guys are watching this, for God's sake, say it. Say it. Let's get this out there and say it. Leave Unison. Do it today. Let's smack them where it hurts in their goddamn pocket. This idiot, this, misand this misogynistic idiot needs to resign. He's displayed misogyny and homophobia in one blatant tweet right there. About women who want safe spaces in order to get changed and do women's do that. Right? This idiot thinks that's a problem. This idiot thinks that Trans, trans women are women. He thinks that they're lesbians. Because otherwise he wouldn't say this, would he? He thinks they could be lesbians. So therefore he thinks gay men should sleep with females who think they're men. He's a homophobe, right? It's that simple. Unison has at the heart and at the head homophobic and misogyny writ large. Homophobia and misogyny writ large. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm happy to be proved wrong, but that's it. That's what he is. A rabid homophobe. There you go. Sue me, which you probably will. But I, you know, until you prove me wrong, Steve, until you explain yourself, which you, strangely enough, <clears throat> have chosen not to do. So, Neil Hanvey has waded in. Now, we all know the lovely Neil Hanvey of Alba. Neil Hanvey has waded in, and he said something. Steve's responded to some of this and then locked his account down so nobody can see what he said. So if any Unison members out there who follow Steve can see what Steve said, please do post the whole damn thing. 
right? Post the whole damn thing so we can see what he's been saying. So Neil then says that in the original tweet, which is now, as you can see, unable to view, Neil says, no, you didn't. So <clears throat> Neil's responding to something that Steve has said that we can't see because Steve has closed his Twitter off. No, you didn't. You posted a queer theory ideological rant attacking women and their rights and protections. That same queer theory ideology is deeply homophobic and undermines child safeguarding. You have no right to deign to speak for me or many other same-sex attracted LGB people who reject forced teaming with TQ, etc. Wind your virtue signalling neck in. Superb from our Neil there. Superb. That's uh, Union President Eunice and Steve, at Eunice and Steve, being an idiot. Right, so then Neil responds, saying, and now it seems he's mentioned me, and I can supposedly reply. But, I, well, there's a certain poetic to that, and now it seems he mentioned me, and I can supposedly reply. But I can't see what he's saying about me. What a champ. Solidarity, etc. This is the union leader. It's absolutely insane. What the hell are you, Unison playing at? They're gone. Leave them. Hashtag leave Unison. Hashtag leave Unison. Right, so he's then said something else about Neil, Right. Uh, he's, which he can reply to, but he can't reply because he's hidden his, 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 his original tweet, so Neil's unable to reply for him. Is it me or is this bonkers? It's absolutely deranged. This is Unison for you, right? No woman, no woman is safe under the leadership of Unison. No gay person who does not believe in the destruction of boundaries, in the harm of children, is safe with Unison. That's my takeaway from this. But you let me know what your takeaway is because that's the important thing. As usual, stick it in the comments, right? This is just insane. I'll see you later, right? Have a fantastic day. Bye bye, good people of the Twitters. I'm off to do other things, I think. Bye bye. <laughs>